here up in the Hollywood Hills in a beautiful street called Wonderland that's uh, tucked just south of Mulholland. And I'm standing on a rock in front of the case study house number 21, known as the Bailey House. So this was part of the case study program. You'll be familiar with it if you've been following me. A program started in the late 1940s by Arts and Architecture magazine to um, commission a whole bunch of experimental residential designs that were supposed to be more easily affordable um, for new families that were starting out after the war. So this one was finished in 1959. It was designed by Pierre Koenig, who just a year later built the very famous Stahl House, which is also up here in the Hollywood Hills. As you can see, it's under renovation here. It has been for the past couple of years because it was actually slipping down the hill. The, uh, the dirt underneath the floor had given way. So even though it's clearly not in the greatest shape right now, um, you can still see those opaque walls um, and the spaces in between them are usually filled with glass. This was a small house, but it was designed to make the most out of all the space that they have. I think it's like 1,300 square feet. Um, pretty small for, <laughs> for a, a relatively wealthy person's house. Um, but it also has pools like right around the entryway uh, that sort of reflect some of what's going on in nature around it. Very linear. It's short, built to human scale, but it's on that classic uh, mid-century modern open plan, making, making as much use of the space as possible. So I'm going to keep coming back here uh, to see how it's looking over the next few months, and man, hopefully it'll be returned to its former glory.